Ever since TCL acquired the license to the BlackBerry name and the manufacture of its smartphones, the company rebounded tremendously by finally adopting Google's Android platform. And most recently, they saw a claim thanks to the Q1 success last year. And now they're back for round two. The follow-up to last year's QWERTY packing keyboard is hoping to become even more iconic than before with a tweaked design, new features, and all the typical hardware upgrades found with any successor. Hey guys, John V here with Phone Arena, and this is our review of the BlackBerry Key 2. One of the more notable changes about the phone is its sleeker chassis, which makes it look considerably slimmer and lighter. And while the overall design might look familiar, the Key 2 boasts Series 7 aluminum for its frame and a diamond pattern rear cover to really give it a premium look and feel. And yes, it's accompanied with the same embedded fingerprint sensor, and they've also kept the headphone jack. The keyboard has also been redesigned with a 20% increase in key height, making it even more distinguishable to the touch. On top of that, they've enhanced the speed key, which now allows for more shortcuts and quick access to all our favorite apps. Much like anything new, it does take a bit of practice to get acquainted with the keyboard. However, we sometimes feel as though that the touch-enabled keyboard can be a little bit sensitive because brushing our fingers over it can inadvertently activate the cursor's placement. On paper, there's not much change with the display. It's a 4.5 inch 1080 by 1620 IPS LCD display with the usual trio of capacitive Android buttons beneath it. For most purposes, we find it effective, but when it comes to the display's characteristics, we're not quite as convinced versus other displays. Yes, it's more than detailed, but colors tend to appear mutant in tone. And while it's slightly visible when viewed head on in direct sunlight, there's some distortion at various angles. Stranger even is trying to watch video, seeing that the keyboard takes up some of the room that's otherwise reserved for the display. When it comes to security and privacy, the Key 2 is unmatched in this area. You'll find useful tools such as Detect Security to monitor the phone and alert us about any risk. You have also a privacy shade that eliminates prying eyes from seeing what you're looking at on the phone, and an all new private locker that not only stores content and makes them private, such as files and photos, but it can also auto delete their browsing history. It's hard to classify the BlackBerry Key 2 as a high-end smartphone, especially when it's packing the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor. Most people on a superficial level find its performance zippy enough, but it's sorely lacking when it comes to gaming. It's quite evident in its choppy frame rates and a couple of graphics benchmark tests. Even with non-intensive titles like Snake vs. Block, we find its lack of having a tight response troublesome, more so when this game isn't graphically intensive. In keeping up with the times, this year's BlackBerry Key 2 receives a brand new dual camera configuration and that breaks down to dual 12 megapixel cameras which features a dual tone LED flash, 4K video capture, and a 2x optical zoom. On the front, we have just a single 8 megapixel camera. It's the first BlackBerry to sport dual cameras and that basically allows it to capture those portrait shots just like other phones with the same dual camera setup. Unfortunately, there's no portrait mode available with the front facing camera. As for the camera interface itself, it's rich in the usual array of modes and settings like a manual mode, panoramic, slow motion, and a scanner. Just like its predecessor, the Key 2 conjures up a satisfying experience with its camera. That's apparent when the conditions are ideal, as the camera delivers sharp details, rich colors, and a wow factor that's needed to impress us. It even manages to do nicely with portrait shots. Even though it's not perfect, the majority of times it's able to cast the appropriate amount of bokeh to the background elements. However, the camera continues to struggle in low light situations, producing muddy looking images in the process. It's good at handling high contrast scenes though at night, but when most of the composition is devoid of light, that's when the quality dips tremendously. Over on the video side, you'll want to stick with 4K capture at 30 frames per second because its 1080p quality is quite dismal with its muddy looking visuals. And despite offering enhanced video stabilization with 1080p capture, there's barely any indication of that because the footage continues to appear shaky. And things don't get any better under low light as there are some noise and artifacting evident. Unless you're shooting under ideal lighting situations, it's tough to even recommend using this for video. Neither good or bad, the key two suffices when it comes to phone calls. Yes, there are some artificial elements and some distortion with the quality, but for the most part, it gets the job done. The earpiece sounds loud, and in noisy environments, it's still more than usable. Above all, the most satisfying thing about the key two has to be its extra long battery life, which is attributed to its 3500 mAh battery cell. And true to its claim, we're able to get two Full days of normal usage in our real world experience. Conversely, it also has a really fast charge time of 90 minutes, which is better than its predecessor as well. However, it should be worth pointing out that there's no wireless charging here. 
TCL has done nearly everything right in producing a proper successor, and there's no denying the BlackBerry Key 2 features marked improvements. However, this phone isn't for everyone. Obviously, it has more utility than most phones, thanks to its physical keyboard, but it lacks the raw power to convince hardcore gamers and power users. Our biggest disappointment has to be how it fails to be responsive for gaming titles that aren't even graphically intensive. And then there's the matter of its pricing, which is now a full $100 more than its predecessor's original starting cost. At a whopping $650, it's competing in a tough space. If the price remained the same as its predecessor at $550, the Black Bear Key 2 would be a strong contender in the mid-range space. But at $100 more, it's a tougher sell because it's encroaching upon flagship territory. And that is it for a review of the BlackBerry Key 2. If you guys want to learn more about it, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V, signing off.